Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today we have a new update for Project Yonathan. This is a project created by oh Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock and there's a quite a good few people who have joined in on this and yeah. The goal here is to use up a marathon's worth of yarn. S that means you have to use up um, 42,195 meters of yarn. And I have a pretty awesome update for you guys today. I have nine finished objects, mostly smaller items, but still a ton of grams a ton of meters so grab a snack grab a drink we might be here for a little while not too long but just a good amount um half of the finished items were christmas gifts or birthday gifts so those will have been gone off already unfortunately um but yeah. Am I missing something? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no. I don't. So, the first item that I finished and have gifted is a pair of DK vanilla socks. I used a DK weight marina from Knitter's Box in the colorway Rust and fingering weight marina hole double from Lily Hilla called Insta Van Nu Planta. Uh, in total I used up 131 grams which equaled out to 372.75 meters. Um, I used the fingering weight hole double on the cuff, heels and toes as accent color. Um, because I know this was a pair of socks for my youngest brother and he has size 45 European um, so I knew that if and they wanted longer like legs the leg part to be like a long sock so I knew I had to compensate with um, contrast color on cuff, heel and toe to get enough. So yeah, I used up 91 grams uh, for the main color and 40 grams for the contrast color. Um, yeah, it was a Christmas gift. I used three days to knock those out. 17th of December finished on the 20th of December. Um, and then they were washed and blocked and ready to go for the 24th. Then I needed a Sophie shawl for my mom for Christmas. Uh, again, took three days to knock it out. I needed the medium size. Oh, the socks were in the largest size um, because he has big feet and I used the medium sized. So yeah, biggest size for my brother. Um, yeah. The Sophie shawl, I needed the medium size, uh, and I used the Knitter's Box, their own yarn called Snuggles, in the color Knitter's Box Pink. Uh, so if you have seen some of my podcasts, you would have seen like the boxes that we get the monthly box. The monthly box, the color of the monthly boxes, uh, that kind of pink in yarn. And I really, really like cute pink. Um, so, yeah, I used up 130 blah, 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 136 grams. I had 150, so I could have added. Instead of doing the 53 increases, I could probably have done 55, um, or at least 54, uh, 
uh, so I will keep that in mind if I do that with that type of yarn uh, once more, but we will see. Uh, but yeah, 136 grams equal to 408 meters. Um, yeah, I think the yarn are 150 grams per 50, no, 150 meters per 50 grams. So yeah, I finished this one on Christmas Eve. Started on the 21st, finished it at midnight on Christmas Eve. Um, so she got it on the 25th of December. Uh, because my mom had already gone to bed, I was sitting up uh, trying to finish it off so that I didn't have to bring it back home and finish it. So yeah, I finished it on the 24th, she got it on the 25th, and yeah. Then I made a hipster beanie for my bestie for her birthday. I used DK weight uh, merino from Lucky Garn in the colorway winter and knocked it out in a day. Uh, started on the 25th and ended it on the 26th. And uh, yeah, it, hipster beanies are just easy to knit. Uh, you don't really have to think about what you do. It's a ribbed beanie, um, so you just knit, knit two, purl two for however long you want. Uh, the stitch count for men and women are the same, so it, the only difference between the men's size and the women's size is the length of the ribbing or the body before you start decreasing. Um, so it's. Yeah, it's just a really easy pattern. I made this one quite a good chunk longer than the men's sized beanie because my bestie <laughs> prefers to have her uh, hair up and she put her beanie on top. So yeah, uh, that's just her preference. So I made the beanie I think 30 centimeters long and then started decreasing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Quite, quite a good chunk. Um, but it's a good beanie, so, and she likes it. It was, the colorway was winter, which was a gray base with blues and pinks uh, speckled out on the yarn. So, yeah, it goes with everything in her wardrobe because she's a blue. She, her main color is blue, but she really enjoys pinks and reds as well. So, it will fit her perfectly. Uh, so, yeah, I used up 82.5 grams, and that equals out to 165 meters. So, that's pretty good. Then, I started on a pair of socks for her. Um, that I also knocked out, or well, I didn't knock it out in a day. I it took a month, okay. But there's a long backstory here. Uh, so yeah, I used the Crazy Sock Lady DK Vanilla Sock pattern again. Just easy, simple socks. I her she has a little bit tinier feet than I do circumference wise. Oh my god. Um, but the smallest size I feel like is gonna be too small, so I made a size between the small and the medium size. Uh, so that's what I ended up doing. It took me about a month to knit these two. I could have done it faster, uh, but since my brothers and my mom were main priority for Christmas, um, I put, I had finished one of her socks before I started on my brother and my mom's Christmas gift. Um, so yeah, I used some <sighs> fingering weight, 
sock yarn well double from lucky garn as the main color it's an icy blue um shade again she loves blue so yeah and then i used the contrasting color was fingering white merino sock yarn not yeah sock yarn from selena from through the water bjorn co uh the same color same yarn as i used for my friday slipover um so yeah i still have i don't know 10 grams or so of that yarn it just goes on forever um yeah but in total i used up 110.5 uh, grams, 83 of the main color and 27 and a half as the contrast color I did the contrast for heels, cups, toes um, and yeah the contrasting color was pink it kind of looked like cotton candy socks so yeah she really, uh, it, they fit her perfectly so that's good uh, but yeah 110 and a half um, grams equaled up to 412.95 meters so that's quite a good chunk um, yeah so that's that one I used up basically a full skein of fingering weight plus a little bit more which is awesome um, then the first one I'm gonna show you right here and now is a yarn cozy uh, knitted my first ever yarn cozy I'm gonna knit a few more because I have a ton of mini skeins and I just need to have some yarn cozies to keep my yarn in tact. Even though I got a yarn winder and swift for Christmas. Uh, but yeah, this is the yarn cozy. Uh, this is Nitty Nitty's, um pattern. I follow her pattern and even though this size is meant for the 100 gram balls it doesn't fit more than 50 grams uh, so or 60 this one has 60 but I cannot fit a hundred gram ball in this one so I do think I'm gonna go up one needle size um, instead of doing doing it on a 2.25 millimeter needle I will be doing it in a 2.5 and see if that helps um, so yeah, I used a homespun house uh, fingering weight uh, yarn. This is their soft sock yarn from the Deathly Hallows collection. And this is the Cloak of Invisibility. I'm going to do yarn cozies of all three of the shades. Um, and I like... I used only 14 grams out of the 20 so I can uh, make some squares for the battenberg blankets so yeah that is the plan with the rest of this yarn it's really really pretty um, and yeah I really do enjoy a homespun house yarns they are really stunning the colorways are gorgeous and yeah do I have anything else to say took me a day to finish started on the 1st of January um, and finished it on the 2nd so it's I started in the started it on the first because I had finished another uh, item that I will show you soon um, so I started late at night um, 
otherwise I would have had this one done in an evening, no problem. So yeah, then I have the other item I started and finished on the 1st of January, and that is just a freestyle twisted headband. Um, so yeah, this is a DK weight yarn from Fabel Knitwear, it's her elder base, so it's a non-super wash wool, um, so it's a bit more rustic, but after washing it and blocking it, it's softened up a little bit, um, but still a bit more rustic than merinos, for instance, or like the sock yarns and stuff. Uh, so not typically yarn I would use, because I am sensitive to the rusticness of the yarn, um, but yeah. This is just a long tube of knitting, and then just twisted it and sewed it up. And that's it, really. I believe I used a four and a half millimeter DPMs. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Magic Loop, so for me DPMs goes a little bit quicker, uh, or at least it feels like it goes a little bit quicker, so that's why I use DPMs. Um, but yeah, I used up 53.8 grams. I had 30 something left from a beanie that I had made. Um, so I used up the rest of that and about 20 grams from a new skein. So yeah, I have about 180 grams left or so. Um, out of the 400 that I had. So yeah, my mom will be getting this as a birthday present, together with some socks and some mittens that I'm knitting in the same yarn, so that she can be matchy matchy. And I am also planning on knitting her beanie in this yarn as well, so she will match a ton. Uh, yeah, 53.8 grams equals out to 121.05 meters, um, yeah, took an evening, a day, whatever you want to call it, but that's that one. Then I have a pair of vanilla socks for myself, which was the Christmas custom, um, and... I've been wearing these non-stop, and they are in the need of a good wash, to say the least. But yeah, this is the Just the Vanilla Socks uh, fingering weight, with fingering weight yarn. Um, I used the Christmas Day Cowston sock set from Selena from Through the Water Bjorn Co. And, uh, I believe it's called Snow Day. It took me three weeks to finish up these because I knitted so much else during that period, uh, but I did cast it on on Christmas Eve. And yeah, I used up 63.9 grams, which equals out to 255.6 meters, um, which means I do have enough for a second pair. And that is the plan. Um, just add in two other, or at least one other contrasting color, because I don't have that much left of the purple contrasting. Um, so yeah, I might just do the purple for the heel flap, I think. Um, Or the toes, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I've never checked how much I used for each color.
contrasting place so I do think I need to do that before I start on the second pair in this colorway um, but yeah these are the ones I'm currently wearing the most absolutely enjoy them love them and they need a wash and getting all of the nib nibs nips away um, so yeah took about three weeks started on Christmas Eve finished up on January 8th but yeah new pair of socks first pair of socks this year that is finished then oh, why did I put it so far away uh, I have finished up a beanie uh, it's still wet I'm blocking it so that's why it's like this but this is the hipster beanie uh, mohair edition <laughs> Not the blanket, the towel. Uh, I used a DK weight yarn from Stenhike uh which is a yarn shop and dyer here in Oslo, Norway. Um, and I, because it was a single ply, I ho hold it together with mohair from Fabri Knitwear in a purple uh, so it got a little bit darker but that's okay so yeah it is purple with green yellow a little bit of pink really pretty it's really warm I've worn it outside and then it started snowing today which is so typical um, so yeah I'm hoping it will be dry for Monday, but we will see. Um, so yeah, that one took me eight days. Started on January 3rd, finished on January 11th. Used up a total of 106.8 grams, where 78 grams were the DK weight and 28.8 grams were the mohair. So I have quite a good chunk of the mohair left and a small chunk of the DK weight yarn left. So the DK weight will go into my granny stripe blanket for sure. Um, and the mohair I'm not sure about yet, so we will see. But yeah, 106.8 grams equals out to 417.42 meters. So for the what main color, it is 175.5 grams, and the mohair it's 241.92 meters, I believe. Yeah, because the DK weight is only 225. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, good, good chunk there. And then the, lastly, we have the Sophie shawl. Now, I made it with a thicker um, yarn than suggested. Um, this is Knitter's Box Extra Thick DK. Um, so yeah, it's so nice it's not super wash but it's so soft like compared to this one this is soft this is maybe even softer than sock yarn and um, oh it's so nice it kind of matches my eyeshadow today um, but yeah I had 300 300 gram skeins of this uh, started out with a one of them were a little bit lighter and then I went into the darker one to get the darkest one in the middle and then the last skein is 
again lighter but a bit more on the cooler tone side um, so yeah I just knit it up as until the first skein was done and then until the second one was done and then until I was done um, so yeah I didn't bother um, blending them in or anything like that I just I just changed because it's a scarf I'm not uh, it for me it doesn't really um, matter that much in a scarf because when you do wrap it around you won't be seeing it anyways so yeah this one I did the medium size but uh, I did instead of the 53 increases I did 55 and I was still left over with a little bit over 30 grams so I could have done maybe two more increases um, but yeah I didn't want to risk it so yeah I used up 267.2 grams which equals out to 443.55 meters um, so I have 30 2.8 grams left. I'm pretty sure I will put it into the granny stripe blanket uh, even though it's a little bit thicker than the other yarns but that's okay it's not too too much thicker um, but yeah we will see uh, I might just hold on to it because I have ordered a sweaters quantity of this yarn just in a different color um, so maybe I can put the an accent on that sweater I'm not a hundred percent sure which sweater I'm gonna make but I bought a ton because this is so soft so warm so cozy it's ridiculous um, Oh, it's so good. I love this. Um, and it's still cold enough to wear this, and uh, yeah. So, that's always a plus. But that's every single item I have finished since the last time. Um, it's a ton, it's quite a lot. Uh, in total I used up almost a kilo of yarn I used up 965.7 grams uh, whew, that is almost a third of everything so far so that's incredible um, for meters I finished up a total of 2655.12 meters which is a little bit more than two and a half kilometers 2.6 kilometers uh, yeah it's a quarter of what I finished so far so totals so far I finished up 3206.2 grams so 3.2 kilos of yarn insane um, and those 3.2 kilos are uh, 11,010.6 meters so I have knitted 11 kilometers out of the 42. So I'm about a quarter of the way in. Um, oh yeah. Uh, I it will definitely go up 
when I finish up some of the sweaters that I'm knitting because I have quite a good few sweaters I have the Wednesday sweater, I have the Joel sweater I need to finish, I have um, the Giselle blouse I need to finish, it only has a sleeve left I have the Novice cardigan uh, I have the cardigan inspired by the Novice cardigan for my mom, which is a longer cardigan and then I have started on the Friday tee and I have the skirt um, and I also have all of my blankets. I have four blankets going and one more going on the needles soon. I just need to finish up some more gift knitting for my mom and brother and my dad. Um, so yeah, there will be quite a good chunk next month as well because 2023 is the year of socks for me. So I'm hoping that I might be able to finish up at least three pairs of socks per month. Um, I'm hoping to do one like vanilla sock, either DK or normal, like fingering weight, or and two either color works or textures on the socks, like lace or ribbing or I don't know uh, but yeah so that is coming up soon and yeah oh I forgot to say that this one and the hipster beanie um, was a part of the um, get your craft on project pan that is hosted by Jaylon um, so yeah I have two out of the 31 items I'm gonna be making through uh, like costing on in January uh, so yeah I have 29 more to go I need to cost I'm way behind on the costumes but uh, I do need to finish up some stuff, you know? So, yeah. A few things done and quite a good few things more to come next time. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!